I'd like to take a moment to tell you how to do this and give you the particulars about our specific assignment. The purpose of the work cited at the end of an essay is to give credit to the sources from which you found your information, to avoid plagiarism, and to help your reader locate information about your topic. A work cited goes on its own separate page at the end of an essay. It will not go in the middle of the last page. It will not go halfway down some random page. It goes at the end of its own page. It goes at the end of the essay on its own page. It will be titled Works Cited in the center of the page without special font. That means you won't bold it. You won't change its color. You won't underline it. You won't make it 50 point. Um, if your paper is 12 point times New Roman, then your Works Cited title will also be 12 point times New Roman. Sources will be listed in alphabetical order. Everything will be double spaced and they will use what's called a hanging indent. So you start your works cited page by typing or writing works cited at the top of the page centered just like above. So you can see uh, it's same uh, format, although this is just a little bit bigger. You won't make it bigger on your paper. You do not use a large size font or a fancy font and make sure you spell it correctly. Um, it's with a C, not an S. Um, a site, S-I-T-E, is a website a site, C-I-T-E, um, is where you are giving credit to a source. Alphabetical order is very important. Your sources will be listed in alphabetical order based on the first word. Um, usually it's by the author's last name or the first word and title of the article or web page. The entire thing will be double spaced. And I'll show you here in a moment how to do this because Word has something kind of funky with their formatting. So you start each new entry at the left margin, and the reader knows when you have a new entry because it will start at the left margin. Now, tied into this is something called a hanging indent. If it's too long for one line, you use what we call a hanging indent, indent for the second line. It looks like this. Author's last name, comma first name, title of book. This is just an example for a book. Um, and you see here, everything after this first line is indented. The reason for this is that it allows the reader to quickly see what belongs to the first line and what signifies a new entry. Remember, every new entry will start over uh, justified to the left on the paper. So you can quickly tell which, which entry is which. Here's the sample page. So you see works cited is in the same font as the rest of the page. You see it is in alphabetical order with the last name of each author. You see it has hanging indent so I can quickly see that this goes with this and both these lines go with this cite, citation. Um, and that is really it on how you do a works cited page. I know you guys have done these before um, and you've probably used something called EasyBib which I'm going to quickly show you. So this is EasyBib. To cite a website you go here and all you have to do is put in the URL that you want to cite. So easy. Um, I, along with probably most of your English teachers or parents, um, when in college or high school had to go back and use something called the um, style guide, which is a book, and look up each type. Um, this makes it very easy. You know, I know some English teachers are against it, um, and there is some justification for that because you want to know um, if, let's say, the easy bit makes a mistake or doesn't know how to cite a particular entry, then you need to know how to how to be able to do that. Um, but I think it's a great tool for um, putting in entries um, with the caveat or you know the kind of asterisk that you should know how to do it yourself or know how to go look for resources that show you if it's cited correctly or not. You should always check your work and I'm going to show you a site that's really good for that here in a second. So a website is here, a book is here. It asks you for the book title, and it's very, very nice. For example, if I type in Romeo and Juliet, which is what we're reading right now, um, you'll see a huge list of different publications of Romeo and Juliet, um, newspapers. And then for our assignment, I'm going to ask you to cite a film. So you're going to need to go to all 59 options. And if you look here, um, film, online, video, and it'll ask you for some particulars, like who are some of the um, performers. Uh, make sure you have the director, uh, 
for things like that, you can go to another awesome site called imdb.com. It'll list all of the you know the director and uh, performers and so forth. All right, so that is easy, Bib. I want to quickly give you the particulars of our assignment, which is creating a sample works cited page. So you go to our website, English Bearding Shine Block. You're probably already there if you're watching this video. Um, go down to Assignments, click on Works Cited. And the directions say you need to pick three of the following sources that give information about Romeo and Juliet and create a new Word document and Works Cited using EasyBib or Citation Machine and following the Purdue OWL guidelines. That's the website I was talking about to check your work. Make sure you pick one of each format. You'll then print out your paper to turn in Mr. Beard and Mrs. Sinclair. Okay, so you're going to pick one of each format, a website, a film, and a book. I only have one option in a book, but you can use any of the editions of Romeo and Juliet, which there are several, as you saw before. So uh, I just showed you how to do a website. That should be pretty straightforward. Um, a movie, remember, you go to that, click on all 59 options. Um, and then once you get finished, you're going to want to head over to the Purdue Online Writing Labs website, which is one of the best in the nation. Um, at MLA format. They, do, they have APA uh, format as well. But after you copy and paste your citation into your Word document, you're going to want to check to make sure uh, it's formatted correctly. So if you look over here, let's say it's a book. Uh, you can click on books and it'll give you a sample format. Uh, so you're going to make sure it looks similar to that. Over here on other common sources, they have film right here. Um, and so you can check to make sure it is formatted correctly. As always, if you have questions, you can ask me in class or shoot me an email. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.